hello students so on your demands today i'm just going to start a autocad structure detailing steel detailing portion okay so steel detailing in the sense it's a part of autodesk desk autocad structure detailing in which in a usd start you can see here we have a three option first of all steel reinforcement and form work uh, i just told you little bit about the reinforcement so i'm also going to complete a video uh, lecture or to complete tutorial on reinforcement and but today i'm just going to tell you about uh, some basic features and some basic settings about the steels okay so first of all just click on this and here you can see i just have the all setups regarding this you can see it so first of all this one is asd model steel models same similarly the asd drawing relating settings over there so whenever you are going to start it first of all we just have to make it clear that we have a matrix template because we are going to work with a matrix template like if you are going to design a thing in a stat pro or etab then we got all the files in a matrix format because we, according to indian code we are just going to follow the matrix condition so that's the reason we just have to know which template is good to design all the things or to detail all the things into a matrix system and for this here i'm just going to this just click on this and just go to new new drawing option so in a drawing here you can see we have a few templates so by default we have rbcr091 rbcr in the sense the reinforcement uh, reinforcement autocad Autodesk AutoCAD structure detailing reinforcement portions template it is okay so right now we are in steel so RBCR in the sense reinforcement template but we just have to work with the steel so just come down and at the end here we have a RBCS you can see it RBCS so RBCS 001 is basically a American template in which you got all the setting related to imperial so that's the reason we are not going to select it i'm just coming down here we have one another option rbcs044 so it's an indian template or matrix template you can call it so th this is basically the template in which we are going to work with so just select this one and open now we got the template and to see is it a matrix or not i'm just going to settings in our settings first of all the project preferences so just click on this so these all are the basic settings we just have to know about this before we are going to start the program so similarly i also defined about the reinforcement basic settings in my uh, initial few videos so just start it so i'm just going to leave it general as it is then the units here you can see matrix it's going to pick it by default here you can define the things like how precisely you want to work with okay so description format uh, its precision you can set okay similarly in a materials you can see by default we have uh, some material list okay so you can change them also and we have uh, some profile options i will tell you in the next option so just look at this default material so by default materials all the materials you can see you can pick any specified also so just leave it as they are here you can see finishing of the surface in the sense like if i'm going to provide a any profile of the plate so how it's going to look like so if you want to give it a finishing of anti corrosive paint so it's going to show you the anti corrosive paint over there after the finishing so simply a fireproof coat hot tip galvanized or the electro galvanized so you just have to select any one of these and according to these it's going to show you which kind of finishing surface you are getting so similarly the bolts so there we have only one option electro galvanized so just click on this whatever you think i'm going to take a anti corrosive paint okay or maybe electro galvanized because this one is also active for the bolts so i'm just going to pick this one now just came to profile so here you can see by default U UKST is you got this template in both like if you are working with imperial then we have a isc also and uh, right now i'm just uh, i just took a uh, basically i just took a matrix template so here yeah, arget is by default we have so if you want to change like if you want to have an indian code or is8 
under date and this, these all codes so codes so you can uh, select them with the help of this just click on this icon you can see it clearly so here uh, you can see we have DISC by default format zone icon so if you are working with a PDF you can select on a field or each other you can select this profile but right now just going to show you like euro if you want to work with a euro you can select it similarly we have Indian so whatever you just learn there you know by default template style so just pick that like I'm going to other say it's you know it is a hot hold scheme okay so just click on it and we got this so just click on this and save and default so according to this it, now it's our default profile okay so different styles we have like uh, in a table styles it's going to tell you like how it's going to show the, the tables which one we are importing after the detailing so you can also change them while clicking on more here you can see the page some the profiles and the list of profiles the section user parts or you can modify it or change it also so just leave it because while doing the tables i will just tell you about these all settings again and similarly the connectors so sometimes it's quite hard to get the visibility of the bolts or the connectors so you can set it over here like uh, by default is going to take a workshop so you can change it to site so there is there, this is only going to affect a little bit finishing things similarly the colors like in which color is going to show you the wells in which color is going to show you the bolts so you can change their appearances or colors also with the help of this okay similarly the standards so by default we have these uh, four standards so whenever you are working with the connectors or the steel sections we are going to prefer EC3 and the drawing standard is ISO 1 to 9. Okay, we are going to pick this. Similarly, the project information regarding all the things, whatever you are going to do, you can put the all information in this section. So just say when default. Okay, so but uh, for the appearances, like I just told you, sometimes uh, it's hard to see the weldings. Okay, in initially when you install the software, it's uh, very hard to get you the appearances of the bolt and uh, uh, weldings and to see them properly just go to preferences again okay. in a preferences you can see it's a structure detailing so just in a top down of this steel here you can see the profiles by default in a profiles you can see without rounding we are just going to see them the square or rectangular sections we have and here we have rock forms uh, we are not just going to touch them because by default is going to pick all these sections over there. I just selected a template of RBCs mode and now in connection. So here you can see uh, like how it's going to represent all the things over there. So here you can see the assemblies related to the screen in absolute drawing units. So we are just going to pick in absolute drawing units. The reason is that it's uh, hard to get the things if they are related to the screens. Like if you're uh, this, uh, scale is up and down and it's hard to see them so that's the reason just to make them in absolute drawing units similarly the bolt and welds so as I told you sometimes it's hard to get the marks of the welds so to see them properly just show click on the show marks and then provide the size by default the size you want to see over there just click on this and related to scale on in absolute drawing units you can pick like we can go with this in absolute values. okay so apply and okay so this is all about the important settings as i told you so in our next lecture i'm just going to start it okay goodbye